हेलो एंड वेलकम सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम सैम्पल पेपर सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन दैट इज फ्रॉम द सपोर्ट वेक्टर मशीन फ्रॉम मशीन लर्निंग सो फार आई हैव सॉल्व मैनी क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन रेफर आई हैव मेड ए सेपरेट प्ले लिस्ट फॉर दैट सेक्शन एंड देयर यू विल फाइंड दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व मैनी क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स टूडे लेट्स लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन सो what this question is asking that a maximum margin linear support vector machine sbm1 is learn for a binary classification task another maximum margin linear sbm2 is trained for same task using the same trainee but with one of the non support vector of svm1 is removed which of the following statement is true margin of svm1 is greater than margin of svm2 margin of svm2 is greater than margin of margin of svm1 margin of so both margins are equal or no conclusion can be draw so you see that uh, that first what we have done uh, we have trained the model and we have find the optimal margin or that maximum margin right so now once we have this uh this model that sbm1 then what we are doing so then what we are doing is we are removing this non vector non support support vector so what is this non support vector so non support vectors are those uh which doesn't contribute to find the optimal value or to find the maximum margin right so so even if you remove this non sector non support vector that is not going to have the effect on finding the optimal value right because anyhow anyhow the effect of this non support vector uh, is going to nullify by the support vector so since since we are keeping the support vector as it is what we are doing is removing the non support vectors right so ultimately the effect on finding the optimal margin depends on the support vectors and support vectors are as it is there even if you remove the non support vector the ultimate effect is going to be on from the support vector only right so 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 even if you remove this non support vector there is nothing going to effect on the margin right so the correct answer for this option c margin of sbm1 is equal to margin of sbm2